Hey folks, and welcome back uh, to another exciting episode of uh, Nothing's Happening on Arn. I tell you what we did do today, we went to Macri, we were going to stay there tonight, uh, so we went to Macri, that's M-A-C-H-R-I-E, uh, on the beach, and uh, uh, we had a nice wee spot right on the beach, but we didn't like it, because the wind was too high, and the rain was too heavy, and we thought well, we're never going to get any sleep staying here. So we backtracked a wee bit towards um, Kilpatrick, just south of Kilpatrick, on the west coast, if that makes sense. I will put three words here, probably, and we'll see how that works. And uh, what was I going to tell you? Oh, last night, I meant to tell you, campsite, uh, it was just amazing that campsite in Lacranza, just brilliant, really good campsite. Um, middle of the night, there was uh, a stag outside our window, uh, about 15 feet, just sitting, uh, having its supper, I suppose. Uh, got up and left, and then was casually followed by about another six, six or eight uh, deer. Was uh, a sight to see. Couldn't get any pictures because it, obviously it was pitch black, in the light, and I didn't want to put the. Uh, Put the camera on, put the flash on, because what would be the point of that? Uh, that would just annoy everybody and the deer, and maybe give them a fright. So I didn't bother, but it was enough to say, I saw it. So that was uh, excellent, yeah. It was just right through the middle of the park. I don't know if that's a normal thing or it's unusual, but uh, anyway. So we're backtracked here uh, today, and we're back in uh, just south of Kilpatrick uh, in a forestry car park. It's a wee bit uh, more sheltered than we were uh, so it's a lot quieter and uh, it should be a lot more peaceful let me just show you if I turn you around but I'm going to take you off of there there's that that's where we are you can see that that is the Mull of Kintyre over there now if you're uh, trying to get that song at your head now I won't sing it because nobody wants to hear me sing Nobody. Uh, okay, let me just, there we go. <coughs> let me just straighten you up. There we go. Right. So that's the Mullock and Tyre that we're overlooking. Uh, it's a lovely sea view. If sea views are your thing, they're not my thing. I'm really a mountain view kind of guy. Uh, but you know, if you like sea views, if that rocks your boat, boom, boom. Then uh, carry on ahead. Whatever makes you happy and doesn't offend anybody is probably okay. I uh, had to tell you earlier on, I was driving along and I saw a sign uh, near Macri, I suppose, and I was somewhere, that said, um, fishing by permit only. We usually use a rod and a reel. Boom, boom. Yeah, I've been dying to tell that joke all day and nobody here to talk to. Uh, I think I'm, am I going to be a bit mad? Quite possibly. I do like my own company though, so it's, it's, it's fine. I have got my steak marinating away in the fridge. I'm thinking of just putting that on shortly. It is about ten past four. So I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll wait a wee while. And we will, uh, before we put that on, try to stretch out the night. We don't want to do everything too early and then we've got nothing else to do. End up like last night, except reading my book on it. Which is fine, because it's a good book. Uh, in fact, I finished it and I started another one. Um, if you're interested, I'm reading the uh, Horatio Hornblower series now. Uh, what book are we on? Six or seven. He's just been made a Commodore. Uh, which is quite a big deal, you know. I won't have any spoilers. No spoilers, so I'm not going to tell you any more than that. And uh, the closing the title of the book anyway, so you're not going to get any. I'm not getting you anything you don't already know. If you haven't read the book. Uh... Okay, so I will check in just in a wee while when we're making the dinner and we'll see how that goes. Right, folks. Uh, so we are just uh, preparing the dinner. I've got everything ready here. Potatoes, veg, mushrooms. You just reminded me there. Forgot the mushrooms. There we go. So we are just going to, I've got the kettle on just now because we, well, I think you'd better to have the, um, uh, boiling. 
first because it'll boil a lot easier in the kettle then it will I'm just going to quarter these a wee bit just rough it doesn't need to be anything special remember it's only me so it's as many as I think I can eat is the kettle ready? That's fine. Uh, what do you think? Remember, we've been quite a bit of steak, and we're going to have veg as well. Yeah, that'll be enough. Back in the fridge with them. Strange thing happened a minute ago. Car pulled in. A uh, woman and a guy, guy driving car. 20 plate Honda wee sporty looking thing looked like a police motor it had one of the lights at the front see in the dashboard about this length well look it looks like a wee it looks like a police light I don't know if it was a police but they, they, they stopped for about 30 seconds to a minute and then they, they drove away maybe it wasn't a police I don't know maybe, maybe it was off duty fire brigade I don't know uh, they weren't wearing uniforms or anything. Uh, I thought, hmm, should we be here? I'm pretty sure we're entitled to be here. I don't see any reason for that. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so there you go. I am going to wait for this. We're not going to do that just now. Uh, we're going to cut up some mushrooms because I'll tell you what we're going to do is we are going to, it's the Royal Wee again. We are going to put some of these aside and we are going to uh, fry up the veg and the mushrooms and then we're going to put the steak in. Right. That sound like a plan? Sound okay? I hope you can see what I'm doing there, can you? I don't know. Can you see that? I don't know. Does it matter? I'm chopping mushrooms. You know what I mean? Yeah, doesn't matter. I think that'll do that. And we're not going to chop up the veg. But we're not going to cook all of it because we're going to keep some of that for tomorrow. Is that the right one? There we go. Yeah, so we're going to put that on. Potatoes will take about 10-15 minutes, especially with boiling water, so we're not too worried about that. They can, they can just sit there. Uh, we're going to use uh, something that we love to use, is this. See that now? It's uh, red palm fruit and rapeseed oil that we like to use for deep frying stuff. So we're going to put a big dollop of that in there. Like that. Now what you notice about this stuff is, well you kind of notice it there, it's a kind of weird uh, reddy colour. You kind of see that, can you? No, it just looks... Can you see the colour of that? Not really. You'll see it when we put some mushrooms in it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drop there in. You know what we should have done? We should have we should have got some onions. I don't know if I've got the in there. Co-op Mediterranean style vegetables. Courgette, red onion and mixed peppers. There we go. Can you see that now? See that kind of ready colour? Yeah, I haven't go that colour. So really what we're going to do is we're going to Cook that, we're going to put the marinated steak on top of that and then we're, we're going to cook that because I like to cook the steak slow. Alright, so I um, tell you what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it off just now and uh, we'll catch you just in a minute. We'll speed things up a bit. Alright folks, there that is the mushrooms sizzling away nicely there. So we are going to add some uh, Mediterranean veg into the pot. We'll just talking about half of that, will we? Mm. 
Okay. We'll give that another few minutes. Come back soon. All right. So that's the veg and the mushrooms. Veg and the mushrooms. Not mushroom, other veg. They've uh, been uh, just taken away there for a couple of minutes. So we're going to add the uh, steak. Look at this. Look at that. Not bad, eh? Not bad. That's our marinade. Uh, what was it again? The mango and ginger. So we are just going to plonk that on top of there. And let's get some of that into the mix. Right. One there. And one there. I think what we'll do is we'll make the other steak tonight. We'll make that later. Alright. So we're just going to let that sit just for a wee while. I'm going to put the water into the potatoes and get them started. And there we go. So we'll just get that on there. Let's go on there. That one is. Is it that one? Nope. That one. Okay, and just in a low heat there. And we're going to turn this down. Hi, sorry about that. I'm not sure how much you lost there. We lost the uh, SD card was full, and I didn't notice it was getting near to full. So. Sorry about that. So I uh, let's backtrack. What we've we done? We have uh, potatoes are on, veggies on, steaks on. We've turned it a couple of times uh, while you've been away uh, because we we had a problem with the SD card. Uh, so uh, we are just about ready. Now this is the only time you'll see me doing this. Uh, with any food, as I'm going to put salt in these potatoes because potatoes need salt. He says. There we go. Now I'm putting salt in them. And okay, so they've been bubbling away nice for where well, you've been away. And let's have an ear. If you want to find out if potatoes are cooked, put an egg through them. If it slides through easy, cooked. Look at that. Perfect. So they are cooked to perfection. Let me just clean that. Well, not clean it. I'm not going to clean it. I'm not going to wash it. It's just been anyway. Uh, we're going to turn that off. We don't need that now. The steak is uh, should be fine. Yep, looks pretty good in there. Uh, we're going to drain the water. Let me just turn that. And I have. I have an actual drainer, so we might as well use it. Okay. Now that will just go in there. Now it comes unhealthy, but you'll like this. What we're going to do. If we can get it out of the fridge. <coughs> Excuse me. Is we're going to put a wee bit of butter onto these potatoes. Get a wee bit of butter, quite a bit. And uh, don't worry about that knife. I'm not putting it on the couch. We're going to use it. We're going to use it to eat with. Just in a minute. Uh, okay. And what we're going to do is we just swirl that about. You see that there? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. The butter's just going to melt through these potatoes. Whoops. Apart from that one. Da -da -da. Okay, that'll be fine. So that's them nicely coated. That'll be lovely. Uh, that's ready. Steak should be ready. We're just going to plate that up. Um, right now, in fact. Okay, so how are we going to do that? <laughs> Let me just put that there. Uh, 
This is where you discover that I'm not a chef. Right. That there, that's all off, that's fine. Steak is looking pretty good. Okay. Now we don't want all that fat and oil and rubbish. So we're going to leave as much as that as we can. We still use the other one, shouldn't we? Da, da, da. But we didn't. So, anyway. And just clear it and boop, there it goes. Okay, that is going to be washing. And right, stick it on there. That's going to be washing. And there you go. What do you think? What do you think? Not too bad? Looks pretty good, that, doesn't it? I will let you know what it tastes like uh, just shortly. So I'm going to go and have this, and uh, we'll see you just later on. So that's the dinner all done. It was spectacular. Uh, God, I haven't eaten that much in a while. Uh, yeah, excellent. I so that's the way to cook steak. I think yeah, it's low, low heat, and uh, it's nice and tender. You know, if you have to use a steak knife, I think there's something wrong with your steak, in my opinion. It should be nice and tender. Uh, it should fall apart. No, that uh, you've got to cut it with a sharp knife. Uh, so that's that, dishes are all done and I, I'm just going to sit here, I'm just going to listen to some music and uh, look out at the seascape. Anyway, uh, I am going to listen to Lizzie, 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 L-I-S-S-I-E uh, and her album um, called When I'm Alone, the piano album, the piano album, piano retrospective, something like that. It's really excellent album, if you're looking for something uh, a bit laid back and a bit chilled out. Uh, which is kind of what I am just in the mood for. So, I'm going to go and listen to that, and I will catch you on Sunday, tomorrow. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then catch us for the rest of the tour of Aaron. Tomorrow, I think we're going to be going to uh, down the south coast towards Lag. And uh, we might go back to hey, Lumlash, maybe. We'll see. Doing that way anyway. Uh, Sunday, we're boat on Monday morning, so we don't want to go too far. We want to head back that way because that's the way to the ferry. Uh, so we will see you in the morning. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, that would be helpful. It lets me know that I'm not sitting here talking to myself. Um, but you know what they say. It's the only way to get censoring about here. Uh, okay, I haven't seen any submarines. Uh, I'll keep looking. If I see any, I will turn you back on. Oh, matron. Uh, okay, so uh, talk to you later. Bye.